Welcome to my review for my new set that I just received last week of water brushes. I've really been looking forward to these ever since I knew they existed. It makes working with um, watercolor pencils so much easier than the things I've used before. Um, the set gives us lots of options, different brush sizes. Here we have a number four fine excuse me, this is the number four fine here and the number six medium right here. You would use these for calligraphy and fine lines, tight lines. And then we have the large 10 inch. These are all acrylic fiber brushes and they're staying tight, which is great. Next we have the flat six, number six the flat number 10 and the flat number 14. These would be used for broad areas. This could be used um, in either area, but these are for finer lines here. You can see the caps come off and on easily. They stay put. It's easy to unscrew these and put the water in the reservoir right here is where you hold the brush and squeeze it at and you're just going to have to practice when you get these and start practicing squeezing and seeing how much water comes out and when so that you'll learn the, the correct texture you'll learn the correct amount of water pre excuse me you'll learn the correct amount of pressure you need for the amount of water you need on your project these are great because they're portable you can take them with you anywhere um, you can take them out into the woods if you want to where you just you don't have water. Anywhere you want to take them, you can. There's less mess, which I love. They come in a nice thick plastic case that's reusable. Um, the barrel's made of thick, flexible plastic. They clean up with soap and water and they, they're also dishwasher safe, but I would put them on the top shelf. The cons so far, um, I haven't found any. The only thing is, you're not going to be able to pick these up right away and start using them. You need to practice for a little while to get used to them. I have this drawing I made um, last week with colored pencils, and I'm just going to try some of these wonderful markers, water markers out, water brushes. First, I like to squeeze just a little bit of water out get it going. And this is very fine so I would use this up here. And you can see how my water is just so easily blending. Beautiful. Keep applying steady pressure when, you've, when it feels like the water is not coming out anymore. Now remember the type of paper you use is going to make a big difference here. Um, they make special watercolor paper um, or maybe if you don't have any of that you could use a thicker copier paper which would work well also. Now I thought these watercolor pencils by themselves did a great job of blending but I'm loving how this looks when I finally added the water. If you feel like your tips are getting too dark, just brush it off. Maybe squeeze a little bit of water through it if it's still not coming off. Let me grab a thicker pin here now. Okay, that feels good. I don't want to squeeze too much on that one. And I've got a larger area back here. I always find it's easiest to draw your brush in one direction for the most part. You don't want to be going back and forth too much unless you are purposely trying to create some sort of pattern. Now see this is nice, it's a flat brush, but I can use the whole side of it or I could use it slanted for the finer tip.
Let's use the same brush. Oh, let's come over here into these greens. Now I just have a bunch of different shades of green here and I'm just going to go over the whole thing. Wow, you can see how that's really brightening up those colors. I like how that's just blending that all together now. It's giving that added depth that I really needed in this piece. I almost overcolored this, in fact. Now, my paper's getting saturated here. You can tell it's wrinkling, wrinkling a lot, but in my experience, most of this dries by the morning. Let's do some of these larger feathers down here. Oh, this looks great. I love how it makes the purple darker. Giving this just what it needed. Perfect. If you have any questions about these, be sure to let me know. I appreciate you watching and um, I hope to see you again soon. I would like to let you know that I did receive these wonderful water brushes at a discount in return for my honest and unbiased review. I will try to post a picture when I'm completely done with all of my lovely peacock. Thanks. See you again soon. Bye-bye.